welcome back to Red Dog Gaming where today we are continuing our Let's Play on Rome Total War as the Julii, playing it slightly different from the usual way. Uh, last time we fought against the Carthaginians, we beat the uh, Greeks, Greek rebels in Caedonia, and we're now on to Rhodes. We're also down at Lepsis Magna. I think with this army we're not going to worry about Numidia because they're trash and those cities should be rubbish um, I think we're just going to jump on the ships and come down south and see whether we can test ourselves against Egypt that might be a bit of a challenge but it'll be worth it um, and we're hoping that we get this upgraded at some point soon it's only half a percent now which is not brilliant probably um, bump that up somehow but I'm not sure and in terms of our military we're just waiting to get our siege equipment here in Massilia but I'm pretty sure the Gauls are going to attack us in the back here now we're going to be on a river battle so we'll see how that pans out but that should be okay um, and here we're just waiting to recruit another Roman archer before we set off for Anatolia now there's that Pontus, yeah, Pontus is, uh, they've got chariots, I absolutely hate having to deal with chariots, uh, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now this army isn't a full stack, but it's a bit more elite than the other one. Uh, I'm hoping we'll be able to get some more Cretan archers on here, because they are really OP. Now in terms of uh, the other Roman factions, they don't seem to know what to do because of my move here, so the Brutii... They came across to Macedon. I took all of Greece, but now they don't really seem to know what to do. So I'm hoping they'll go north into this terrible territory. They can have all of that. Um, and the Scipii still haven't ta taken Lily Biome, so you know that could be something we take a toehold on Sicily that technically should be theirs. Now, do they have much of an army? They don't. We could just pop across there. Hmm. Uh, and let's just check where our agents are because I would like At your service. Uh, two in Gaul. I'd like one here near Lepsis Magna. So, Thapsus, can you recruit? Yeah, there we are. And do we want one? We could potentially recruit one here in Athens, maybe, to take across to Anatolia. No, just a diplomat. Okay. Corinth will recruit one. Use a bit of that last bit of money and then we'll end the turn see what happens. Yep, yeah, they're going to attack us, which is fine. Now we're going to have to have a look. Okay. Nothing special. Nobody's really that experienced. These swordsmen are alright. Probably slightly better than the Maya Stati, to be honest. Uh, they're not amazing. And then these guys. So what I'm thinking is if we leave the infantry to deal with these guys crossing the river and then we just send all, all our cavalry to deal with this and we should be okay so let's have a go see what happens and we'll listen to the general speech I don't know this guy's not bloody is he or anything like that so he's not going to be wanting to bathe in blood but we'll see, we'll see what he says <laughs> Man, the battle is inevitable but victory hangs in the balance do your duty as true Romans, and victory will be within our grasp! These Gauls do not need your fear. Cold steel will bring them down, just like any other man. They will try to cross in force. This we cannot allow. They must fail. There are more of them than there are of us. So be it. We will fight like lions instead of men. That said, our skills, our training, and our tactics are second to none. Numbers can be deceptive. They are lacking in spearmen, and this will work to the benefit of our large contingent of horsemen. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. Cool. So I'm hoping we can kill both of the armies in full. So the army that's coming across as across us uh, across the bridge towards us doesn't really matter that much compared to the army that we're going to be fighting 
on the other side, because the army on the other side is inside the settlement, so if we beat them, we'll be able to win, um, we'll win the settlement. So, we need to kill their general, do they have a general, that's what I'm wondering, how close are we to the, to the map? If we just come here, will they just literally just walk into us? Okay. Man will be busy today. The enemy have brought more men to the fight. Coming in at this corner. You guys go there. You guys come here. It's going to be hard to kind of control two arms of the battle. You guys can do war cry as well. Hoping they'll hold there for the time being anyway. Stick these guys all in a group. Warband, warband. We don't want to be charging no warband. So see whether we can let's charge these swordsmen in the center. Some more swordsmen there as well. Should overwhelming numbers destroy them. That should be them broken, come on. There we are. Now, how are we doing over here? Doing alright. Throwing all our missiles in. Looks like they're all gone. Okay, come out, come out, come out. Everyone, out, out, out. Oh, now let's go after the ward. One of our equitates is broken for some weird, horrible reason. Their swordsmen, their warband. Hoping we just overwhelm this general now. That's him dead. Right, let's get out of there quick, quick, quick. Enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Look, these these barbarian cavalry only have eight men and they've not broken yet. Whereas my equite is broke. Nineteen. Well, they had like thirty before. Let's get down the hill. How are we looking? We're winded now. Okay. This was so the army coming in. This was the army that I wanted to get rid of 85%, but uh, looks like it's not going to be possible. Right, you guys get back over there. Let's wait for the rest of them to come back in, actually. It's only like five units or so. So let's bring them across this way. We'll just walk. So that they've got more space between us and the, uh, the outside of the bat. Way. Looks like these uh, barbarian spearmen are kind of holding their own. Is there any other crossings? This is a crossing. Doesn't look like it. It's a crossing over here, so we'll get our cavalry. Once we've destroyed this army, we'll get our cavalry round and we'll smash them in the back. Yeah, we're losing. We've lost about the same amount as men, uh, percentage of men as them. I've killed their general though, which is good. I don't think we're going to be able to get 85% of this army though. You know, the swordsmen, swordsmen, and more band. Then, can't see what these guys are yet. That's war band, and there's more swordsmen. Let's charge these guys. Okay. They've broken through those lines. Now they're going to be fighting our Hastati. Which instantly means they break, which is good. Swordsmen, let's go. Broken straight away. Let's see if we can get a mass route going to these guys. Yeah, just touching them was enough to get them to all round, so that's pretty good. It's charged. Get a charge. Yeah, okay. Just a small one. Yeah, that's the boat broken. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them and drive you them guys. from the battlefield. These guys, you there. You over there and the rest of you. Chase down these guys. Then we should probably. Okay, these are only tiny units escaping here. They're trying to push through because they're trying to escape on the other side. Which is pretty brutal. Because we're absolutely just destroying them while they're routing as a mass route going now. This is no way for a leader to behave. But in battle, it's beyond belief. You guys should take out this. 
Let's continue. Let's see how many we can get. We've only killed so many together. Only kills. Well, we killed seventy-seven percent. I think one of these armies will be destroyed. Maybe all the way down there. You guys can do it as well. You'll run. They'll probably get. They'll probably escape, but we'll, they'll run far enough so that it's all right. Now, Terzar has start. How much did we lose? 27, not brilliant, but we were up against a much bigger army. Uh, in terms of the equites, they're the most important thing, so I actually haven't really gained much experience from these few battles. Our generals have got a couple. They are young though, and they have only started uh, on the battles. We've not got anyone else up here, have we? Still only how much is it now? 84. Oof. I was going to say we could quit. This time, these three men could make the difference, and I don't think we're going to be able to catch them. Go after this guy. No, no, get him. Just let him get away. Okay, yeah, so we destroyed one. The other one still has 300 left in the, uh, in the town, so we're going to have to assault the town again. That's alright. We should be able to beat, beat them quite handily. Benefactor for Nero. She's over here. Imperator. Already has Marcus Julius with him. This Benefactor does have... Um, so, where has he gone? Has he gone to the capital? Because he's out. Yeah. Okay, that's alright. That's probably worth... For the next army. Um, using him for the next army. How old is he? He's 24. He's command talent and got drill master and all that stuff. Now in terms of generals, Vibius not going to die right now but he might die reasonably soon. And then we've got Decimus who's 31 and Lentilus Gracchus who's 23. That's alright. Okay we can do a draw out battle here. Probably do that next turn. Not next turn, sorry. In a sec. Uh, Egypt found strongest factions Egypt now so that's good we're going against the Batavium has upgraded brilliant yes Egypt's still the strongest faction recruiting peasants in Carthage still okay, Carthage is always has some sort of issue with public order it seems um, these guys are ready to move and then I assume Corinth and Thapsus get the spy. So we'll bring the spy down here and make sure he gets on the boats. And Corinth, okay sorry, that's this. Uh, we get you. Bring you down. Yes. This way. Secrecy is assured. Construction of um, Eretium. Right, so now, hmm, I thought with that we should... Okay, we need to reduce squalor here somehow. Is there any public health we could do? So that's that should increase. Yeah, let's do that definitely. We need to get this above half a percent. Um, it's only going up like 90-ish a turn, I think, right now, which is not very good. Uh, Suggestica. Hmm. I want to take these mines, but it's kind of a, a vulnerable settlement. Let's take the uh, the roads just for now. They're not going to give us anything in trade and that sort of stuff, but it will allow troops to move quicker over there if we ever need to go around that way. Corinth, okay, we've only got one thing left. Thapsus, only one thing, and then we're missing Kydonia, which isn't that important anyway, so that's fine. Right, let's get this army to drop these guys off and bring this army back. We're not going to make it, so we can actually recruit one more. So what have we got? We've got uh, a few equites, We've got the two Cretan archers. We're going to have two uh, two more Roman archers. So then we've got four kind of slots free for anything we want, really. Hmm, we could get some more archers, and we don't quite have enough for Hastati. 
Uh, is there anywhere where we want to cancel something? Any recruitment or anything down here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Yes, master. Secrecy. Okay, Narbo looks like a just normal town still. Okay, Lugdenum's has become a large town, which is pretty good. I mean, it's not awesome, but it's something. It's better than just getting towns, because they're awful. As soon as you enslave them, they always have no population. Do you know what? We could get money from sieging down roads if we enslave it. So, while we're waiting here, might as well do that. And how many battles have we got? We've got Lepsis Magna. Doesn't look too bad. We've got Massilia. I think we'll go for Massilia first. This will probably be the easiest siege battle. Okay, they've got they've got some warband. That's about it. Uh, we don't have any missile troops, but we've got our Hastati. So we'll use our Hastati to throw the peeler at them. And once that's done, we'll charge in there. I think could use our barbarian mercenaries as well to full effect. Today Let's listen to what he says. Battle against the Gauls. Warriors both worthy and brave in equal measure. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall. As if that will protect them. The count of our warriors is vastly greater than theirs. So unless we fight like old women or idiots, victory is certain. Until the enemy walls crumble, our brave horsemen can do little. Let us breach those walls and hunt down the enemy. Many times I have faced these people, and still they are too stupid to learn their lesson. Today, men will die to teach them afresh that they should simply run away. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so these are the two spots we want to be breaching. This uh, tower is too close to the gate here, so uh, we definitely want to be sending you two in rather than anyone else. Um, you guys can bring them up here, but we'll just drop them. One in front of the gate, maybe. There we are. Perfect. Group these guys, and we'll group the uh, cavalry as well. So Astarte, come up here. Gonna fire at will. We've got no specific targets that we want to look at, and I'm pretty sure we can just leave the whole cavalry out apart from maybe the generals. So let's get this. Uh, let's get this show on the road. There we are, Astarte. Starting coming forward. I'm hoping you don't get shot by those. Oh, look at that. This poor little swordsman unit here. Oh, that's a cool uh, face they got on that banner. Never even noticed those banners before. Well, you learn something new every day. And, oh, there's another one here. It's all the same face. Yeah, cool. Right, let's speed this up. They might just break from overwhelming numbers, to be honest. Like, their general's there. There's another unit of swordsmen up here. We could probably just charge them with our generals and hope, well, hopefully our generals won't die, but we'll see. Probably going to use these, uh, these guys to just form the, uh, the breach. The breach head. Uh, and make way for our starting. So I'll bring the starting forward. Why do you do that? Like I told you to move there. Don't stop. Okay, maybe not here. Nearly done. There we are. Oh no mercy! The enemy walls are down. Make They're sure the charge soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. You can do that. We're just gonna throw a load of peel out, you know. 
They're doing the war cry, so I think they are going to charge. No. Just throw a load of peeler at them. Okay, they're dead. Bring your general in. You're not able to throw a peeler yet? Yeah, you are. Just kill him. Yeah, they're gonna run from that. Let's chase these guys down. You chase those two, literally two units down. And cavalry. Charge you in as well. So it's these three units that we want to set up here. It's literally two guys that like, come up. Our soldiers have captured the walls! Now is the time to press on and capture this. Shouldn't place. really need that many troops to be honest. Um could send you guys around, but it's a long way. It's quicker just to come through here and come around this way. Probably just go from two angles. Oh no, you can stand here. Uh, you guys are ahead, so we'll bring you up to here. Bring you one general. Bring these guys up to here, maybe. I'll we'll give you Herius. I think it's Herius. You guys can just come and stand up here. It'd be nice to have some archers in this army, to be honest. I wonder whether we can train some around here. Probably not, considering that all the towns are just absolute trash. Could send some reinforcements up if we manage to like get them to a good enough standard to recruit. But I don't think we need to. Might be able to... No, we won't be able to recruit some in the Barbarian lands. Um, yeah, they don't normally have like archers or anything. It's just normally the spearmen and the... Uh, cavalry. Right, let's see whether their script, whether their uh, walking will just get fully messed up here if we do this. Let's see. Bring the two cavalry units in together. Meet in the middle. They're going to charge us, I think. Can't quite throw our peeler at them yet. Now we can. Yeah, they're not gonna like that. Oh no. Okay, these guys are gonna charge. <laughs> okay, they've been throwing their peeler. That weird, that just weird walking, like they don't know how to walk around these squares for some reason. I don't know what it is, whether it's building scripts or anything like that. Like, see, like, where are they going? Like, you should have gone around this way, but I suppose that's alright. Yeah, let's see whether these guys can run down here without getting completely messed up. Go on. No, no, no. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, we only lost 5%. It doesn't matter too much. Every Astarte is valuable, though. Because they are... They're not good, but they're better than most of the standard troops that they have in this game. That should break them. There's only 32 of them left. Let's get you out, let's get you out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge the swordsman next. No, General, what are you doing? No, there's no chance he's surviving that, come on. If he does, he's gonna get scarred, surely. Whoa. That was cutting it fine. The enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. There's a problem with fighting on the square. Oh god, look at that. There he is, we'll rally you so you know. There's a problem with fighting on the square. As soon as they route they just come back. And now he's the dead. enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack! Cool. Such a victory. The nice. Day is ours. 
maybe general, maybe only captain anyway. Yeah, we lost, still lost 130, which is not brilliant. Casualty sustained. Got a couple healed though. No, oh, those barbarians. I would not. I would prefer to have healed a starting rod than the barbarian mercenaries, but Victory! I suppose the barbarian mercenaries took the first uh, casualties. Uh, that's a slave still. It's got a slave trader, which it's not actually something we that's good for us as a general. Now he's a good defender. He's a vanquisher. Makes him popular with the people, and then he's got also a popular hero, which gives him popularity with the people. So this guy could actually be really good for us, make us really popular with every, uh, people. Uh, that's it. Can actually retrain everything here. That's good. We're not going to be able to do that this turn. Jupiter. Take the shrine to Jupiter. Uh, Let's get another one of these guys and let's do this battle. We've got two more battles to do. Orders. Let's do this draw out battle over here. And then I think we might leave this just because this guy might attack us. Hopefully, will attack us. Then we can do a draw out battle where we'll take a lot less casualties. Got to win it this time though. <laughs> <laughs> Got to destroy more than 85% rather than what we did at Massilia. So, hmm. let's wait here a turn. Let's see whether we can get some money from taking roads. Then we might be able to retrain all those guys. What? Yeah, okay. I was hoping there'd be some Cretan archers on here, but I know it's not Cretan, but <laughs> you can get Cretan archers all around the Greek areas. Okay, militia cavalry. I hate those guys. Our plights. Gonna have to split our cavalry up then. Uh, and this guy is literally just a general. So we'll probably just wait in the middle for them all to meet up together because not much of a threat. Uh, the second army, so just need to kill his general. Victory let's listen. Is near at hand. If all do their duty as Romans, victory will be ours! Bend your backs to your tasks, and all will be well! Do not fear these over-nice Greeks. They have come to fight, it is true, but they will only stay to die. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. Our numbers are vastly superior. It may not seem fair, but we are not here to be fair, only to win! The enemy will undoubtedly try to slaughter us at a distance. We must charge home and stop their cowardly plan. So let your battle cry put fear into the enemy's guts. Call out to them and be brave. Call to the heavens and let strength and honor be your watchword today. Nice. Oh, this is a weird map. So they can't can't escape down here they can only escape up the up here wonder where that general's going to come in then because we could just slaughter him straight away like we did last time and i think there'll be there wouldn't be that many troops uh, to take care of so we'd actually probably be able to do it right, these Cretan archers we want you to fire at the militia cavalry which are probably going to be on the flanks or put you to one side ah this army's not well organized. Do that. There we are. Fully organized now. Fire at will because there's not that many troops. Bring you here just for the time being. The fairy man okay, they are coming the up here. The enemy have brought more men to the fight. Let's go after them. I'm hoping we can. We'll wait until the general's down here a little bit and then we'll strike him. Okay, he's going to probably try and charge straight away actually. At this, try to get behind him so he can't escape. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna go for it. Mad lad, let's go. Smash him. Should 
just swarming. He's going to kill a few of our equities, but we should just be fully surrounding him right now. Where is he? There he is. Oh, yeah, he's going to get killed. Let's see. There we are. The enemy king has been slaughtered. That's the enemy king as well. Cool. Good. Now, hoplites. We'll use you as bait. You stand in front of them. I mean, are these guys going to try and escape? Because they can't. Just go back from the back. Just don't go there. See whether the Grecian archers can get them. They might just break from overwhelming numbers. They are just normal hoplites. So let's walk into them. Run, uh, run into them, maybe. Probably just break from it. Yeah, they broke. Still died to the pikes there, though, even though they were broke. Why are they still able to kill our guys? So we killed 100% of that army. That's good. Now, this militia cavalry, that's going to be the next issue. Cretans, can you fire? Looks like they're taking down the militia cavalry, which is great. They're still running. Right. Let's come here. Right, we'll split the cavalry in two. And they should not be able to escape. If we, like, come over here. And these guys here. You should be okay. Now, how tired are you guys? You're warmed up. Okay, all the cavalry's winded, but they didn't actually have to fight very much, so... They, these guys don't have much armor, so they should go down quite easily with their missiles. They just don't know what to do now. You gonna charge us? No chance these guys are escaping. Come on. Okay, maybe they will if they run away fast enough. That's them gunners. Alright, you guys take this opportunity to come down here and throw some javelins into these guys. Let's chase him, chase him, chase him, get all Nice. That should be them all dead now. Nice, very good. Okay, they're broken, they're all broken. See, they're saying they're broken, but they've still got their... No, 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 get out, get out, get out. Not while they still have the pikes now, Jesus. Is that everyone? Nice, very good. Killed them all. What's 2%? Mostly horsemen, I think. That looks predominantly like theirs, actually. Anyway, we lost the most people when this unit started breaking, was broken, but still had its pikes now. Uh, yeah, cool. So we should have rows. We should get some money from that. So we might be able to retrain everyone. Let's see. And that 40% naval trade should mean that we get a lot more money. Okay, we get 3,000. Uh, we only get 580 from this, though. It is a minor city. And it is... Wish we could see how many... How much population it actually had. Let's do that. Get some money. They are still unhappy, even though we just exterminated them, so probably a good decision to do that. Now, we can recruit everything from here apart from Brinkapays, uh, but our Brinkapays are pretty much fully stocked, and our Starty are as well. Um, probably just have one slightly weaker unit. Now, Equites, is there anyone here? None of them have experience yet. Yeah, that's close. 
Yeah, so we should only need to retrain. Looks like there's an armor upgrade here as well. Yeah, there's a blacksmith. Okay. Let's retrain everyone then. Now, construction wise, do they have. Yeah, they got a temple to Hermes. We need to get rid of that. So, how much corruption? Wow. Most of the money from this town is going to corruption. So, we need to get rid of that ASAP. Um, Kaidonia, you were someone that. Yeah, let's get population growth. All these guys are building. Suggest there's not, but it's not important. Um, and now, can we retrain these guys? Yep, yeah, brilliant. Do they have a. No, they don't have a blacksmith. Cool. Uh, let's see whether we can spread this experience around. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get it into that one. Hmm. No. Yeah, okay, that's cool. What about this? Ones without experience, maybe. Okay, now they've got three, that's good. Let's have a look. No, it's not doing anything. Yeah, well, that's gone up in experience, so we should be able to retrain all those these guys. And I think that's everything for this turn, because we're going to leave this and see whether Carthage attack us. Uh, but I think that's everything for this episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch, where you can catch me doing live gameplay every day. So thanks, guys, for watching once again, and I will see you again on the next video. Thank you.